The My Profile section of the Photo Booth Operator is where important information about the individual is stored. Each user, as well as the initial individual signing up, will have a profile. The information contained within is extremely important in regards to sending out emails, one of the primary functions of the photo booth operator, and therefore this section should be completed immediately. Many areas of the photo booth operator simply will not function until this area is set up correctly. When you click on My Profile, you're prevented with two different pieces of information. On the left, you have your simple name, be it your company name or your personal name your email, and then an opportunity for you to enter a new password. The existing password will be the one that you set up the account with. You can then select a default signature through a drop down. If you do not want any default signature, just use the select there. Then on the right, you see extremely important information, and this cannot be overlooked at all. Again, if you do, the photo booth operator will not function. This contains the SMTP information for you to mail out emails. Photo booth operator requires that you use your own SMTP server as emails cannot be sent out through the photo booth operator's mail servers for security reasons. If you are unaware of what SMTP information is, please contact your web hosting company or individual and they can provide you with this information. You can inform them that there are four pieces, excuse me, five pieces of information that you will need. You will need to know the SMTP address, which is generally your domain name with some derivative such as mail, dot, and then your domain name. If you are on shared hosting, they may have a completely different SMTP address. Again, you'll want to ask your hosting company or individual for this information. You will need the username on that SMTP server. This is not necessarily the exact same username as you access your email or your website from, so you'll want to double check that. The password for that username for the SMTP address. The port that the SMTP information is funneled through. And which type of SSL, if any, is utilized. Again, if you're unfamiliar with these terms, it is not a big deal. Simply ask the hosting company or individual for these specifics and they can provide them to you. In regards to SSL, you see the drop down, there are three different types. There is either no SSL, which is none, there is standard SSL, or there is what is called TLS. Again, if there's any need for you to understand what those are, if you do, that's a bonus. You just need to get the information as to whether or not your particular SMTP server utilizes no SSL, SSL, or TLS. Many of you are on common domains such as Gmail, Hotmail, AOL, Yahoo, AT&T, Charter, Comcast, or GoDaddy. We have provided this information to you in regards to address, port, and whether or not they use SSL. So by merely selecting one of these drop downs, it will automatically populate the information above with the correct SMTP address, port, and whether or not they use SSL and which type. You'll notice that it does not automatically populate username and password as that is unique to you. Again, it may not necessarily be the same username and password as your website, your FTP, or your email, so you'll want to ask your provider. Special note regarding GoDaddy, and we even explain it in text here, but for a variety of reasons, GoDaddy uses a variety of ports. In fact, depending upon one which part of GoDaddy you may be researching, you may get instructions to use a specific SMTP port, such as 80. Then you could do another search, wind up in a different part of GoDaddy, and be instructed to use port 465 doesn't seem to be any logic or reason to why they do this so what we recommend is that if you get the information from GoDaddy the SMTP address the username password and what are, which SSL they're using and they give you a port number utilize it test it and if it doesn't work change the port we've given you the list of ports that GoDaddy uses 2580 465 587 and 3535 Obviously the question is, well, how do I exactly test those? And actually the photo booth operator does that for you. So what happens when you click the update profile button here is that 
the photo booth operator will attempt to send a test email utilizing the information that you have provided to you. So we're going to go ahead and update profile with the correct settings to show you what that looks like. And the photo booth operator returns a message that the SMTV has been confirmed, the profile has been updated. If you get an error message, which we'll see here in a minute, none of the information that you have entered has been updated. So if I were to come in here and change my password, then click update profile, and I got back an SMTP error message, the password has not been updated. Because this shows you how important this SMTP information is. It must always be accurate, it must always be up to date, it must always be correct. So what we're going to do here is put in a, a different port number just to show you what happens. We're going to click update profile. The photo booth operator tries to send the test email and we get an error. Now, the errors oftentimes will be cryptic because they're being provided by a server. Uh, so we try to make them as clear as possible. Um, what you want to do if you get one of those error messages, and again, you don't understand uh, any of this, simply contact your web hosting provider or the individual handling that, provide them with the error, and they should be able to help you out. Uh, in this case, um, we were unable to establish a correct connection with the SMTP host. It was refused. As again, that doesn't make it clear that it's refused because the port is incorrect, uh, but again, through trial and error, you should be able to get it pretty simple, or you can just get the exact information from your web hosting company or individual and circumvent all these problems. We're going to return the port to the correct number. We're going to update our profile. Photo booth operator reports success.